what's up y'all welcome back to my channel um my friends are actually almost here they came from fort myers to watch lion king with me um i was actually supposed to go with my dad but you know we're not gonna talk about that so i'm waiting for them to come we're actually gonna film the video tj um bianca kayla and naima are coming and they're spending the night but just the girls we're going to do a video and that video should be up by the time this video comes out we're going to do a um who's more likely to and i'm gonna give y'all a sneak peek i'm gonna give y'all a sneak peek and the last one y'all is who is most likely to get caught cheating never wait what type of cheating bianca <laughs> Do y'all hear that thunder? Like it literally just started raining. Florida is so bipolar. But yeah, they're on their way here. I'm going to continue vlogging when they get here. Don't mind my eyebrows. I was gonna get it done, but that ain't happening either. I think they're here. Front door. I might as well bring y'all a key. Up. They didn't give me the memo. <laughs> so we all doing curly hair today. Y'all could have let me know. <laughs> y'all could have let me know. So was this planned? Like, no, was this it? intentional <laughs> to leave me out? Like I said, my hair always like this. This was not planned. All right, y'all, so I left my camera inside of my car during the movie theater, but we actually finished watching Lion King. Bianca, did you say whether you liked it or not? Oh, she rates 7.3. I liked it. I Kayla really didn't like it. That, that's, that's, that wasn't a good rating. She said 5.5. I mean, you can't expect the remake of something to be better than the first. So I'm not, I feel like if people didn't compare it to the original movie and just took it as like a regular movie, they would like it. But people just comparing it to the original. I think I'm going to see it again tomorrow, so. I don't know, I didn't mind. But we're at Tootsie's. This is my favorite place to eat in Miami. I talk about this all the time. People think it's nasty to eat at a strip club, but in, my, in Miami it's normal to eat at a strip club. That's where the best food is, the strip club. Thank you. All right, so me and Kayla got strawberry henny. What you got? The rock punch. And we'll, oh, she getting her sex on the beach. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. All right, y'all. We are leaving Tootsie's. My stomach is full. I got me a little food. This is not even a food baby. This food twins, okay? I'm full. I'm ready for my bed. We're going to Top Golf at 1130. So we're gonna go home and take a nap. All right, y'all. So we've been home for a couple of hours and everyone has changed. Like I changed my outfit. I have on this um shirt, got on some shorts and my what's these called? Vans, my high top vans. And we're going to top golf. We've never been to top golf before, but everybody else is like pre-gaming and drinking and stuff. I'm not because I'm the DD. Always make sure y'all have a DD when y'all going out. That's rule number one. I just put Bo to sleep. He's upset. He got an attitude. He mad, but he'll be all right. It's past his bedtime. Good night, boo boo. Good night. All right, y'all, we are walking into Top, well, not we're not walking in, but we trying to get there. This is huge. Like, we've all never been here. Look how big this place is. This is like a quarter of a football stadium. Oh, is it? Or it's like a six, this is like a sixth of a football stadium. Come on now. I went to Hollandale. We ain't have much, so. <laughs> Finally, I recorded it at the wrong part. Sus. <laughs> TJ, I thought you know how to go. <laughs> Alright, some 
I'm finna go, y'all. You know. Tiger Woods, okay. It's hard. It's hard. <laughs> I didn't make anything. <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. <laughs> Next time. <laughs> Let's shut it down. We'll burn the roof. And then we'll do it again. Let's do it. 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 I know y'all see it. I know y'all see it. It ain't go nowhere. <laughs> something with my hair because I definitely have well Bianca or Naima need to do something with my hair because I got somewhere to be <laughs> ladies if a man had a 90 day rule where he doesn't spend money on you until after those 90 days I heard this stupid question would you before. still go out with him slash date him or cut him off I'm I'm cutting no I'm you cutting. interested in me you want to take me out what do I look first like? of all if you don't pay for the first date there's not gonna be a second date so if you're not spending any money on me for 90 days what are we it's doing not even about it's not even you, about you asked me out you were interested no in it me, is so about why would I spend my but money it is about money it, it is about money too because for the first date the first date requires money a picnic requires money because you're not about to just chill or Netflix and chill we not about to we do none of that you're you're taking me out on the first date. It don't have to be somewhere fancy, but it ha like you have to have put effort or thought into you know it. And that requires home. money. It requires gas. It requires something. I and if you're not willing to do low. that because you of know, a 90 day rule, y'all dumb. I want to know how, how old the person to ask that. Exactly. You uh, a grown man asking that type of question. I'm like, just say you're you broke. must be broke. I just say you broke and move so on. Make more sense. And I'm tired like, of men like um putting money on the same pedestal as sex like why do how do they equate just because a woman shit. just because a woman want to wait they want to wait on spending money shit. like why they always got to put that over your head you were interested at that point i can take mean? myself out if you're not about to spend no money on me give me anxiety if you're not spending money on me <laughs> why am i out with you where are we going your mama's house <laughs> we're not chilling we're not doing nothing i'm out y'all Good morning y'all. So it is like 9 20 a.m. and I just got out the shower. I'm actually the only person up. Like everybody's knocked out. The whole house is knocked out. Let me show y'all. So before I show y'all Kayla and TJ, let me tell y'all how I let them sleep in my room last night just because like other things. Plus I wanted to be nice. You know, I'm a good friend. Good friend. And Y'all won't believe I woke up, went in my room, and they were cuddling, y'all. Cuddling in my bed. I don't even cuddle. I don't even cuddle. But they cuddling in my bed. Let me show y'all, because I took a picture. All right, let's go see if they still cuddling in my bed. They know what's up. So Cassie, she's also a YouTuber. She is having a brunch with like other girls and that's like around 12 o'clock. So I'm up early, I have to do my hair, do my makeup, still don't know what I'm gonna wear. And um, I have to do my makeup in my room, but I'm gonna try to do it without waking Kayla and TJ up. They said they're not light sleepers, so we gonna see. Yeah. Uh.
show y'all. Let me show y'all how they still mad comfortable. Mad comfortable. Shut up. Like husband and wife. No, I need some ink. You get some ink for real? I, I want some, some but I, I don't really want ink. I want a nose piercing, but my mama tripping y'all. She tripping. Nose piercing, like this video, if y'all think I should still get a nose ring behind my mama back and just make her deal with it. Like this video. I don't know if y'all can see me well, but I'm actually like in a rush. I'm like a couple minutes late and I feel really, really bad. Bianca just took a while with curling my hair because she was trying to get it perfect, but I'm finally here. Um, we're going to the restaurant called Brimstone. It's in Pembroke Gardens, which I didn't know. I've never been here before, but I've heard of it. Number 14. Who was number 14? Keep the four right here so you can see. Obviously, you got spinach dip. Wait, who's going? And it's pretty good, y'all. So, if somebody reads a question, there's a number in the corner. That's the person who has to answer, and that's the person who's supposed to get the bag. So, if your number wasn't in the corner, you shouldn't have a question. But we're going to let this go, because we're kind of getting off. Yeah. So, you will go ahead, um, my love. You can speak on your... Um, how private is your love life? That was for number eight. So private, don't exist. Number eight. Man wants a threesome. Uh-huh. I feel like if my man wants a threesome because he wants some new pussy and I don't want him to. Okay, yeah. period. I know I'm super fly. Now watch me fly, fly. All right, y'all. So I actually left. Um... By the time I left though, people were getting their checks, but I asked for my check a little early because I'm supposed to be meeting up with my dad. Um, he's taking me to buy some makeup because I told him, Daddy, Daddy, I need some makeup. And he told me he would take me to get some. Y'all, I really have, let me tell y'all what happened. I'm sorry I talk a lot, but first of all, I was very apprehensive. Like, I told Cassandra I would go to her brunch. This was her um little event that she had and it was so much fun. So, I told Cassandra I would go to her brunch. I always plan on going because like she supports me, so of course I want to be there to support her. But when it comes to things like this, like I'm one of those people, I'm very shy. And people, they never believe me when I tell them I'm shy. But I'm shy, especially when I don't know people. I knew I would know some people in the room, but I haven't seen them since high school. So like I was very nervous to go, but I'm honestly so glad I went. Um, everybody was real cool, real friendly. Everyone was really open. And um, my dad called me a while ago, like a couple of months ago. He was like, Cece, I want you to talk to this girl. She interns at my job. Um, like, just talk to her. She did, does the same thing that you wanted to do. And just talk to her. So I spoke to her on the phone. She was very nice, very sweet. But, you know, like, the conversation ended there. Y'all, when I tell you... I was like talking and Cassandra was like, oh, this is Cece. She has a YouTube channel, Cece the Personality. A girl, she's literally right across from me. She goes, wait, is your dad, I'm not gonna say my dad's full name, but is your dad so-and-so? Hold on, he's calling me right now. Hello? She goes, is your dad so-and-so? I'm like, yeah, she's, and then I instantly knew, cause I had a feeling. She's like, oh, I'm so-and-so, we were on the phone. Y'all, it was so cool, like, it was just so cool, and I'm so happy I went, it was a great event. I'm glad I stepped out of my comfort zone and I went, because I actually need to start doing stuff here, because as y'all can see, I don't really have friends in um, Miami, like, all the friends that I had in high school, you know, it's high school. Like, the real, my real best friend is Kiera. She's pursuing her master's degree at UCF in Orlando. And all my other friends, which y'all just saw my vlog, they're still in Fort Myers. And it's just hard because the only time I really have friend time is when my friends come to see me or when I go to Fort Myers to see them. So I need to, like, step out of my comfort zone to just, like, meet new people and go to events and stuff like this because... I'm not saying that I'm hungry for friends because I'm definitely not because that's how you end up meeting messed up people when you thirsty for friends or thirsty for a relationship but just like I'm glad I did this and if y'all are the type of people who don't like to step out of your comfort zones and do stuff like that you should just try it every once in a while I'm definitely not the type of person to go out every weekend or every day. That's definitely not me. But like just cute stuff like this every once in a while, it doesn't hurt, boo. It don't hurt. And she was also telling me like, girl, your dad talks about you literally all the time. He tells everyone to watch your videos. He calls me into the office to watch your videos. And that really just made me so happy because it's, it's one thing to like hear from your parents 
that like oh like I tell everybody to watch your videos and oh like I'm so proud of you and I love you but when you hear that from like a stranger like a stranger telling you like how much your parent loves you and how much they talk about you and how much they adore you like that I love that and I told her I'm like my dad is like my dad was the first person to buy me like all my equipment when I told him I wanted to start a YouTube channel like my dad is so supportive of me and my mom too like I'm blessed I have amazing parents when um someone stole my what you call it I told y'all when somebody stole my camera my original G7X um during my after my graduation party both of my parents bought me a new one like not knowing the other was gonna buy one like I just have amazing parents and I'm so blessed I love them so much they like support me and all my dreams they brag about me they love me like and I'm blessed to have that because I know there are a lot of people that don't and if you do have a parent or a significant other or someone who loves and supports you like be thankful for that because a lot of people don't have that like they don't and I know my daddy watching this because he watched all my videos. I love you so much. And my mom watched Step, every, Larry. I love y'all so much. Like, y'all my dogs for real. So my dad is apparently at Ulta already. So I'm just gonna meet him there and I'll vlog when we get inside. Let's see what makeup we gonna get y'all. I hope my daddy bought his car and I hope his car is charged up, boo. Because I need mascara. I need a new foundation, probably some new concealers, probably an eyeshadow palette, probably some new brushes. Well, it's not your money, you gotta, <laughs> gotta ball out. Hey, daddy. Shopping. I've always wanted the Jaclyn Hill palette, but now that I'm looking at it, like, I don't think I really need any of these shades. Like, the shades that I really like here, I feel like I already have in other palettes, so. I don't know about that one, but I definitely need some brushes. Like, I need a concealer brush. Hmm, I definitely need a new foundation brush, y'all. My dad just had the nerve to ask me how long we're gonna be in here. We just got here, like, less than 10 minutes ago. This is why you leave men at home. Canceled. All right, y'all, so I'm actually back home in my bed. Um, I am cramping and I've been cramping a little bit all day so I'm just like very fatigued I've been taking my ibuprofen so I'm just I'm a little chill but I'm kind of still in pain I just want to lay down so before I close this vlog out I just want to show y'all what I got from Ulta I got this brush right here for my highlight I got these two brushes these are going to be for eyeshadow and blending and stuff this is going to be for my concealer so my brows can be precise. I got a brand new foundation brush that was very much needed, honey. All of those were Morphe brushes, by the way. Um, I also got this Morphe blush palette. And y'all, I'm super excited about this palette because I have like a newfound love for blush. And of course, like this pink and the, like I'm, I'm not going to have nothing to do with that, but I'm excited about these colors i also got this palette from jacqueline hill um this, i believe this is called bling boss and i just really like these colors and i'm interested in like learning and playing more with eyeshadow so i'm excited about this and i don't have a jacqueline hill palette so now i have one i also got this nyx bear with me spray it's a primer it's a setting spray um it basically says the prime sets refresh and it does all of that if y'all have this please let me know um let me know if y'all like it a nyx fill and flush brush this is for my brows i have the um abh brow dip and i have the pencil but i just wanted to try to see if um a cheaper alternative will work the same um i got some new mascara this is maybelline plumped up i just got mascara regular mascara will do because i always put on falsies and elf eyeliner you can't go wrong with elf honey in total my dad ended up spending 149.47 and he was looking, let me take this off before y'all see his credit card information. So he was like $150. Like I think he offered to buy me um makeup thinking like it was cheap. <laughs> and at the end, like he completely regretted it. He was like, how long this gonna last? And the cashier was like, it should last a long time, like a year or years. And he was like, all right. So 
so shout out to my daddy if y'all have a daughter a girlfriend a wife whatever take care of her take care of your queen makeup and looking cute and all of that all that we do is not cheap y'all it's not cheap so i'm gonna close the video out because my camera about to die i love y'all so much don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next video